What is nice about my job, that it is a bit spiritually linked. You can center yourself, get a good connection to Earth again. And ultimately, what I do is also a bit of soul work. To feel the spirit of Mother Earth, and thus to give inspiration. And to accept inspiration. Basically, of course, climate change also has an impact on honeybees as well. Although it has to be said that this influence is first and foremost is indirect. Monocultures are fundamentally a problem for biodiversity. That's trivial. If they only have maize or even rape seed, biodiversity is reduced. At the same time it has to be said that sometimes it is good for the bees to get a lot of food. We don't have a real winter anymore. Also the honeybees, they have their own rhythm and that kind of thing changes the development of the colonies and has a concrete effect on certain diseases if sometime in winter there is a bread-free phase. So in that sense we're actually seeing changes, which may be slow, but which are clearly and unequivocally there. So we locked ourselves in many areas, this year a total of 0.0 kilogram of honey, you can even say minus the total, because we partially fed the bee colonies. Why? Cause during the time that all spring comes down so rapeseed and fruit blossomed, the weather was extremely bad, it was too cold, it was too rainy, and not just over two or three weeks, but over six to eight weeks. The beekeeping. I started when I was nine. I annoyed my parents for so long that they bought me a colony of bees. Before that, unfortunately, I hung up honeycombs in my children's room and I opened all the windows and doors at the age of nine. I wanted to attract the honey bees. But when I was a kid, of course I didn't know that the queen wasn't coming. I wanted to bring a whole beehive to me. Years later I found out that I had the catastrophe caused. Because someone who just hangs honeycombs, causes the robbery among bees. And when honey bees rob, they steal each other's honey. Once the guard line at the flight hole is missing, then the weak bee is free for predator bees. They go in, steal the honey get infected and then do it all again back to their hive. A hive in itself is very self-cleaning and gets all sick animals out. It is there. But in this case beekeepers don't have to do anything. For example, sick bees commit suicide and leave their state, simply out of sociality and not being able to infect other bees. The environmental impact, we have more forest loss each year than we grow again. Especially for the honeybee and beekeeping. We have problems we have, but then I would say the situation is not as dramatic as I said at the beginning. The beekeepers protect the bees, beekeepers can react, they are flexible. They can also try to plant flower loops and the honey bees are flexible too, because they can adjust. As for climate change, regarding honey bees, I can really only say one thing. The oldest find of honey bees dates back to 75 to 90 million years. When I think about it, how often in this period of time the climate has changed and that the bee could wonderfully adapt to any weather situation, I make myself out there as a human being, as a beekeeper. No worries at all.
The bee, especially honey bees are among the most adaptable creatures on this planet here at all.